Sean Suking, Designer Diner. You can see behind me, I'm in beautiful Southern California. I'm in Santa Monica, actually. Um, I'm gonna take you through here, show you what's around, and later today, go to Los Angeles, see a couple of the districts. So let's go. While in Los Angeles, I couldn't miss the opportunity to see the Pacific Ocean and walk the iconic pier. This pier has been in so many movies, it's inspiring. But beyond that, coming from the East Coast, I was just excited to see all the palm trees that line Ocean Ave, which is the street that ran parallel to the ocean. Only a 40 minute drive from downtown LA, Santa Monica is not a big city compared to that. I would say it's similar to South Beach, but not as party focused. Our first stop is a public park that's centrally located between some key destinations in the city. Here we are at our first stop in Tonga Park, a park designed by James Cornerfield, which is the same landscape architect that did the High Line over in New York City. This park is so unique to the area where you have City Hall, you have the ocean, and you have streets all surrounding it. This park integrates a lot of organic, natural, swooping path in here with a lot of plantings here and there. A lot of plantings, actually. Let's go see the features and some of the green infrastructure elements that this park has to offer. Once I stepped into the park from the Ocean Ave entrance, I felt the openness and the cooling from the water feature along with the lush plantings. I really love the diversity of these plants. We don't get these in the Northeast, so there's much more texture, color, different heights. We have all that, but it's not, not like this because it's so unique to this area. Being high up at the park's high point, I can see all the different height changes like the amphitheater beyond and this green wall that is so lush and thriving. There's so many layers to this park, put in a garden, different elevation changes, integrating different design elements that really accounts for the views that this park has. such a cool view feature that overlooks the ocean down there. Again, going back, there's different layers of the planting, different layers of the elevation that changes, gives it some excitement to the design. This is such a cool structure that draws and points your vision out to the water. I love the use of wood on both the railing and the ground here. It breaks up a lot of the exposed aggregate that's dominant in most of the park. The way that the design of this park is integrated into this 7.4 acre lot, there's a lot of sweeping path and organic gestures that happen here. But if you go beyond the park into the city streets, it's mostly laid out into a grid, squares, 90 degrees. So it's nice to have this freshen designed Again with this green wall, I can't get over how lush it is. I'm walking towards this children's play area, which is another one of the four zones that the park is divided into. The use of natural materials like the boulders and these trees make it so unique and playful for both the kids and the people enjoying the area. point out this cool wind chime feature. Perfect, you know, for the ocean breeze coming in, making its natural music. The public bathroom is an essential element to any park, 
but the way that this is integrated into the slope is just brilliant. If you're in Santa Monica, I would highly recommend a visit to Tongva Park. There are so many design elements and features that a designer like myself can learn from. It's also hard to miss since it's surrounded by all the attractions, like the pier and 3rd Street Promenade right here, which is a vibrant retail pedestrian street. I'd love this city and would love to come back someday. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next episodes as we move into Los Angeles where I get an early start at a street market in Thai Town, then enjoy some pieces at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art.